One Eternity Later. Welcome back to the channel. It is a blistering cold day. I don't know if you can see. Nah, probably not. I'm gonna wash your car in a bit. But anyhow, I've got these new LED bulbs, which are taking like two and a half weeks to come because of the Royal Mail strike. So I'm gonna fit them now. I've just checked my water, seems all good. There was a little bit of water under the car, not the water pump side, the other side where the pump the pipe comes out of the block and goes down to the lower pipe in a radiator. Um, I got a temperature switch like sensor in there, and ironically, it's been shown error. A little bit of water coming out of there, but I moved and yanked that around a bit. So when I was doing rad, I tightened it up now when it was a little bit loose and jubilee clip. So that seems to have caused that to stop now and problem fixed. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna quickly try and fix these bulbs. So when it's dark, then I can see if it made a difference and give a car a quick wash because I'm aiming to hopefully go to a cars and coffee meet tomorrow and see if I can get some content as well on the way. So we'll see the difference these lights now. It's empty clocks. And if you remember, they had a bogging orange color when I turn light on. They're supposed to have like a um, inverter, which runs to like a, like a plasma, like a luminescent back film for that and that as well. Um, it's all there, but I don't have the inverter for it with it not being a genuine cause of earth. You can do it, and there's a way around it. But I'm going to try these bulbs first as a temporary measure before I obviously buy the other parts. There's the clocks out, and you never guess what? They're the wrong bulbs. They seem to fit in the little holes, which are there, but they don't fit in them bad boys. So, nice one. So we want to sell a send them to me. They're not the right ones because I've ordered the right bulbs for an escort or ordered the ones that are set up and online for an escort. Never mind, it's two weeks away worth of that uh, waiting wasted. Somebody asked about the plug for the inverter. I don't know if that is it. I'm not really sure, but if you do know, let me know. Yes, I'm fully aware my board is open. But it's like minus temperatures, and am I the only crazy person who washes their car at this time of night for a coffee and cars morning? Nope, I'm sure other people do it tonight. So yeah, just gonna give it a quick little uh, wipe over because it's full of oil and dirt. And let's hope my drive don't freeze up. And I break my neck in the morning. Here we are, freshened up with a full tank of fuel. So dash bulbs were an absolute failure. They're still orange because they were wrong size. I don't know how, but they did fit in here. And you know what? They look pretty cool. So I'll have to change that out and that out. I get that sorted and I think uh, we're on to a winner then. done some pulls, we've done some miles, but um, parked up the temperature still, still under 90, it's about 88 degrees I think it read, um, I parked up and I see a bit of water dripping out, so I was like, oh god, no pumps are knackered, but it's not, it's coming up the top expansion tank, so as I said, the car's supposed to take seven and a half litres, it took seven, I assumed naturally that there's water left in the system and it was bled, so I'm home now, it's cooled down. I got the heaters on and I took the advice of somebody who commented to actually close all events 
and I'm hopefully going to leave the system properly this time. It must have still been edited, but it was actually still over the maximum. It was actually it was brimming. So I need to give a level right because obviously when there's no way for our water to go as pressure and it's going to force out the cap. And I did the right thing, so these caps have got a pressure relief on them on me, so I'm quite grateful that it happens to be honest, rather than just blow everything up. Oh, that's good. Right, so what are you doing for it to uh, believe the system? You can see how tight up the end goes now. That looks good, doesn't it? get her repainted, she's get a tidy one of these but yeah she's uh, she's coming. I absolutely swear by this stuff. It's amazing. Oh, it's yeah. and coat now. Oh, is the system still bleeding? So yeah, Bass had one little quick shine with the uh, ceramic coating, quick detailer of um, autogen. In fairness, oh, look at that. LED light like, but come on, looks good, doesn't it? Temperature's still good in the car, nice and off, not cooking. Happy with that, and fingers crossed tomorrow will be a good day, but yeah. Paint's good. I've got to be honest, that air filter is doing something to me. It's great. Perfect. That's what a messy engine babies are, as soon as those are. I was chatting to a mate who had one in a Fiesta, and they're just not nice, are they? they there's a lot of wiring, there's tour, there's all this kind of stuff. Everything's rammed in and stuff. Don't know. There's much side engine babies out there now, isn't it? Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the videos. We're on 994 now, so we nearly hit a thousand. That's great. B, would you subscribe if you could? Would you sub? I know you would, wouldn't you, babe? You would definitely sub. One eternity later. Give me for a while. The other cars finished off being polished now. Um, check water. It's just getting up the temperature now. It's been red. Somebody asked about these. They've always been an edge like off. Basically, if I right angle bracket, still in the air, these two universal ones. That's more better than having the prop, I find. So Eric's in the back, Mr. Wazo, he's waiting eagerly. So we'll go up already. And we got my new coconut caffeine machine air freshener. To smell nice and fresh on the way up. There we are. First time she's been polished since she's been out of paint. It's fair to say, but she's come up really, really well. See how many people we can fool today, is there? If you remember, there's the dummy straps. Big fan and favourable of these. Always been a huge fan of a Mars Red Mark 1. Do you like MS?
we'll be doing again a Christmas tree on my own. Yeah, I'll check the mic off you. Tucking in now. Smile, John. Nineties warriors. There's always one, and it's normally John from Bayonet. Two two rat lock vehicles. Time for Mark 5. More time for this.
Yeah, yeah, that's fine. He's got his left. So that was the No Limits meet at the Stark Park Philly and then the Industrial Estate. Not bad day, uh, to be honest. Some supercars, some retro cars, some supercars, some long cars, some laid out cars, some noisy cars, all that kind of stuff. Do you enjoy Charles?